I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and today we will have a good time together. What is Islam? What is Islam for? Can we take Islam seriously? Before we start talking about this belief, we should understand that Muslims, they believe that Islam is a lifestyle. And Islam is the way to find solutions and answers. And I will show you one of the answers you are looking for. Pets. The Prophet والسلام, instructed us to kill five types of animals, whether we find them in the hill area, which is out of the haram, or inside the haram. And he also ordered us in different hadith to kill mice because... So this is an Islamic TV station, <clears throat> and now we are discussing a very serious topic. Can we keep a hamster? You know, like, you will not find those questions in any belief, any religion. There is only one unique belief in the world. Focusing in such an important, you see, like now we hear about, you know, Russia, Ukraine, you know, this is not, this is not really important. But can we keep a hamster? And God need to be involved with this question, and this answer, and this decision, because this is very serious. I mean, you don't want to have something against God. Keep hamsters as pets. The Prophet والسلام, instructed us to kill five types of animals, whether we find them in the hill area, which is out of the haram, or inside the haram. And he also ordered us in different hadith to kill mice, because a mouse is a type of... Listen carefully. If not the Prophet of Allah, he said, kill the mice, nobody will be figuring out that we should kill mice. And people will like mice. But thanks to Allah, he sent us a Prophet to teach us what to do with mice. But until now, I'm not sure what this mice have to do with the hamster. Can you please tell us more? An animal that is Is my microphone working? Somebody's saying, Mike, what's wrong with you? A oh, mice, mice, oh, okay. Evil by nature. <laughs> and it carries a lot of disease. Listen carefully. Mice is evil by nature. Did you hear the word nature? Did you hear the word? Mice 
is evil by nature. It's satanic. Mice is sa Satan. It's evil by what? By nature. Tell us more, Prophet Muhammad. And it carries a lot of diseases, and the plague is... How many diseases you carry yourself, in case you let us know, you know, just, just a question, you know? I mean, no, not to offend you or anything, but just how many diseases you have yourself, starting from your brain. Continue. It's one of them, <clears throat> among others, and it's known to be destructive. You know, sometimes, as they say, your reputation speed you. It's known. Do you remember the story when Adam, he wanted to, to, uh, to put all the animals in the ship according to the Islamic story, in our story? And then, you know, uh, the family of, uh, of Noah, sorry, <clears throat> uh, they found the mice in the ship. I mean, how the mice get in? Don't ask questions. So they told Noah, the mice, we have a mice. So Allah, he made the lion sneeze. And then a cat came from his mouth. This is a true story, by the way. So we have a mice. It's a problem. Allah, he made the lion sneeze to get a solution. So why we need to kill the mice? Isn't it Allah, he created, the, you know, he created the cat to kill the mice? Okay. And with evil intent, even evil. it may take a piece of thread and get it uh, uh, burnt from or set it on fire from. Listen, the mice, she do that in purpose. Evil intent. This guy is not telling you something he is making up. This is what Muhammad told him. That mice, and many of them, they are genie, and they are Satan. They do, in purpose, burn your house. Now you might ask yourself, why the whole world is not noticing? Why until now we are not aware how evil is the mice is? According to Muhammad, that mice, she work for Satan. And I'm not going to say things without proofs and reference, as you know. Let me show you some reference. <clears throat> so you can learn from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who is very specialist in mice. Uh, he have a PhD in mice business, you know. Not all of us, we have knowledge about mice. I mean, some of us, we have knowledge about cockroaches. You might have knowledge about your mother-in-law. But mice, I don't think so. So Muhammad, he said, A mouse come dragging a wick and dropped it before the messenger of Allah. Look at this idiot. On the mat, on which was sitting, with the result that it burned the hole in it, a hole in it. About the size of dirham, which means the size of a coin. <clears throat> he, the prophet, said, when you go to sleep, extinguish your lamps, for the devil guide a creature like this to do thus and set you on fire. So the mice, she don't do those things, it's like by mistake or an accident, no. She do it in purpose. And scientifically, this is proven to be true.
if we ask ourselves how many of us in this world is unaware that the mice is the biggest enemy for us as a human but thanks to Allah now we know that the mice she have an evil intent to burn our houses continue Sheikh now we are learning what is the reason for Islam to exist what is the point of Islam very important point Islam is the way of science logic uh, guidance and lifestyle uh, tell us more from a candle or fire in the house and take that thread and burn the whole house with it so mice are evil and we are ordered in Islam to kill them a hamster is very similar yeah he's the cousin you see, I mean, there's no much different, really. I mean, mice is a mice, hamster is the cousin. You know, all of us, we know they are cousins, like, you know, like, they look at them, you know? So now the question is, can we grow up a hamster at home? The answer, like, hello, are you stupid or what? Can't you see that the mice is the cousin of the hamster? Actually, in case you do not know, the Muslim they went so far with this with the with their hatred to everything and they decided to have a fatwa on Mickey Mouse. Maybe you don't believe me, but in the year 2008, the Mohammedan they launched a war uh, and everybody wanna kill uh, Mickey Mouse and Mickey Mouse until now is uh, I mean, he's okay, you know, but uh, he have bodyguards and security, extra security. So fatwa against Mickey Mouse, and the reason for the Mohammedan they made this fatwa is, fatwa mean is a holy order, according to Islam, according to teaching of Muhammad. They say that this Mickey Mouse is making the children like mice, and this is against Allah. Therefore, it's our duty to kill Mickey Mouse. And here you notice that Islam can solve a lot of problems can enlighten us, can guide us. You know, how many of us, we are, we are suffering from, you know, lack of knowledge and logic, uh, wisdom. All of this together is Islam. And, you know, Islam too, uh, order to kill lizard as an example. Let me see if I can find a video about killing the lizard. We will not play for you a video of killing lizard, no. But like, you know, this shake or some other shake. Uh, teaching us why we should kill a lizard. You know? Listen carefully and learn. Um... Aisha says, can you please explain the hadith about why we should kill the house lizard? First of all, the house lizard, I think they call it salamander or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, the, the house lizard is an insect, an insect that is... Take a note, please. House lizard according to Islam, is an insect. Okay, let me, hold on, I need to take a break and write down that, you know. So, house lizard is an insect. Mm -hmm. Didn't you, Jesus, curse the tree? What's up with that? Well, you see, Jesus, he curse anything, and the tree die. Your God, he curse me, and I don't. <laughs> Your God, he launched a jihad against the mice. <laughs> and when Jesus, he cursed the tree, he said to them, the tree who don't give a fruits will throw one in hellfire. So he was giving them example, you idiot. Now listen carefully. 
the lizard of the house is an insect. I think all scientists who study insect, they agree that lizards are insect. Yeah, they are. An insect that is harmful. Some of it cause a lot of diseases. Oof, 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 oof. The house lizard is an insect which is harmful and cause a lot of diseases. This is just, you know, we are learning. This is why, this is why we need to listen to Prophet Muhammad. Today, you know, we are saying to you what Islam for. But this is what Islam for. So you can get wiser, smarter, knowledgeable. And you can move animals to different categories. So now lizard is an insect. Uh-huh. And they are full of diseases. Mm -hmm. And some say that it intends to walk over the food and the, the drinks and to poo. Oof. She do it in purpose. The lizard walk over your drink and food. Uh, hold on. How the, how the lizard will walk. I can let it go walk over the food, but walk over the drink? Whoa. What does that mean? Is that a swimming lizard? <laughs> Where it puts a lot of its illnesses and diseases in people's food. Mm. So, in general, it is a dangerous creature. Yeah, we have to agree. In, in general, it's a dangerous creature. Very dangerous, you know. Uh, According to a scientist, his name Yama Aidulai Yama from Japan, very well known scientist. He said, not me, just remember, I'm just quoting for you, you know, don't shoot the messenger, okay? I'm just telling you what the, what the scientist, he's a scientist. He spent his life studying lizard, you know? Actually, this is why if you ask me what his name, like what they call him, they call him Abu Lizard, Abu mean father. So they call him Abu Lizard because he spent his life studying lizard. You know, you, wherever you see him, he's holding lizard, studying lizard. So this guy, Abu Lizard, he's a Japanese scientist from Japan. His last, his last name, by the way, before he converted to Islam, it was Suzuki. You know, but then, you know, like he said to himself, I'm, you know, I want to be a Muslim. So like he became Yama, I do like Yama. Uh, so he uh, uh, agreed in his study that lizards are insects and they are in they intend to do harm to you in purpose they think about it you know they think like see if you look at the lizard you will see like he move his head you know he's thinking how he can get you you know so like you go out of your house and let us say you have a lizard in the window he's looking at you you act like if he has don't care or you know we know, we know those games you know especially for us arab we know those games. You can't fool us. So this lizard is very evil. But there is something way more than this. Sure. That only brings harm to the people in general. Mm. And if you notice that anything that is harmful... No, listen, listen, if you noticed. I don't know, Sheikh. What I noticed that lizards are very useful because they kill the mosquitoes. <laughs> They, they kill all you bad insect. <laughs> I never heard of a lizard killing a human being. <laughs> if you have a farm, you would love to have lizards around because they will clean your farm from all the harmful insect. <laughs> if you have a fly, when I stop in your nose, I, you know, I mean, it's brothers, sisters. It's a very dangerous. It's a we are living in the end of the time. The lizard. The lizard and what the lizard can do. Where you can go from this? I mean, where you, where you can run away from the knowledge of a prophet of Allah? Now, the story will go really more and will get more complicated later because the lizard is not what you think. He is not just a lizard. Listen carefully. Islam tells us to kill. So Islam tells us to kill a wild dog that bites and attacks people. 
This is a this is a the, this is a big fat lie, by the way. Muhammad he ordered to kill all dogs, not the dog who bite people. That's lie. Uh, and the the reason Muhammad he ordered to kill the dogs, because he believed all dogs are evil supposedly. But obviously, dogs they can see, sense the evil energy of Muhammad. Uh, this is why he ordered to kill them. But when people they start complaining, remember we are talking about fourteen hundred years ago. And people need dogs, and actually, and no, there's many, especially if you live in a farm or you live in out of a grid, uh, you need dogs. You know, dogs are very, very uh, important animal for a farmer or villager life. So, uh, Muhammad, because he is superstition person, he ordered to kill all dogs, and when people they complain. Uh, he focused on certain dogs, like the black dog specifically. He claimed that the black dog is the devil. The black dog is the devil. So, uh, and you know, this is very scientifically proven to be true. You know, this is really, uh, you know, we have we have a Mister Too Faithful. Too Faithful. Do you like to call me, my friend? It says, my God, heaven knows. Are you stupid or what? Jesus, heaven knows. Have you uh, have a face, have legs. Your God have five fingers. <laughs> Before I cut it for him. I mean, this guy. <laughs> Abdul, he found discovery that my God, heaven knows. <laughs> you know, this Abdul, he is so busy behind the computer. I'm going to say to something to Christian Prince to stop laughing at my, my, our prophet, okay? Yeah, I, okay, I found that your God have a nose. <laughs> you destroy your Christianity, brother. What you did now? You discovered that the God of the Christian has a nose? Are you serious? Real nose? You are very nosy. Tozy, tozy, tozy. You know, nosy, nosy, nosy. Yeah, I wish the city allowed me to grow someone like you in my backyard, but they don't. We continue. So, brother, there is a story behind this lizard thing. The lizard is the most evil creature, even more than the mice. And the sheikh will tell you why. It tells us to kill mice because they spread all types of Diseases, right, plague right. is one of they are most infamous for. I mean, this guy he attached the plague to everything. He just mentioned the mice. He said that it spread the plague. He mentioned the lizard. It spread the plague. I mean, everybody spread. <laughs> Abdul Potato, human being, they spread the plagues too. Stupid idiot! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? So sh should we kill every human too? If a human have a plague, he goes somewhere else, he will bring the plague with him. I mean, the very serious, knowledgeable man. Sheik, he's a sheik. Look at this beard. Do you have a beard like this? You don't. And also, they cause fire in houses. As in the, play in, in the hadith of the Prophet, mm -hmm. it tells us, Mice do heinous things, though people nowadays are so fond of them. We're told to kill the crows, a crow that also carries diseases and eats uh, uh, dead meat. The order to kill the crow because he is black. Muhammad, he said, kull kill every pure black. It doesn't matter what it is. We're ordered to kill snakes. We're ordered to kill scorpions. And these, by nature, are harmful mm. for people. So mm. killing them is justifiable and it's a legitimate thing to do. Likewise with the house lizards. Mm. And there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari. Stop. Now we are getting into business. Now we will know the religious reason behind killing the lizard. You want to learn? Listen carefully. Where the Prophet 
told us alayhi salatu wasalam that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard. It used to try to blow so that the fire would grow. Can you believe it, brother? Our father, Abraham, is now is going to be burned. And the evil lizard, he bring all animals, all animals, brothers, all animals bring in water from the jungle, from the lake, from the fire department, from everybody. The birds, the chickens, the frogs, everybody trying to put the fire out, except the lizard. The lizard, brother. He was the only evil creature in the whole world, blowing air on the fire so he can burn our father Abraham. Brother, I'm going to start an army to fight lizards. If you'd like to join us, please don't forget to leave a comment. We have to do something. It's time to revenge for what happened to our father Abraham, especially if you are a Jew. If you are a Jew, you must join. You have to join. And if you don't join, I will make you pay money. Ah, now everybody will join. Okay, now, uh, now we got it. They will join for sure. So, brother, the story told by the Prophet of Allah about the fire of Abraham and how the lizard is involved to his nose with the conspiracy, 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 Consp con whatever, you know, Liz lizards knows best. Where the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire with the exception of the house lizard. Now it's time to do some scientific study. As you see, we are trying to introduce Islam to you in a way which will make it lovely. And I'm sure many of you will convert to Islam. Many, they will try to say things about Islam which is nothing but a lie to make you don't like Muhammad or the Prophet which is Allah, which is him, Allah and Muhammad is the same. So don't listen to them. They are lying. I'm telling you they are lying. Everything you hear from those people who they are Islamophobic, phobia, etc., is a lie. Now you might think that what the Prophet is saying is not true. I'm going to show you Certain certain that the fiqh will prove that lizard is evil and he is sent by Satan to burn Prophet Abraham. Look at this guy. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Right away when you look at his face you will notice that he is very evil and very dangerous. However, this lizard is not really the way he looked like usually. Lizards are very well known that they are transformers, which means they change their looks. The original lizard, who is the one who was burning prophet Abraham, he was, uh, I mean, he looked the same, but there are some differences. And I will try to fix that differences for you so you can understand the, 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 the situation. He used to have a mustache. And he used to have a beard.
Now, for sure, the beard I'm drawing for you, it's not exactly the same, but I think Allah is inspiring me to make the look close to perfect. So this evil lizard, in order to hide his crime and what he did to Abraham or his grandfather before him, he shaved his beard. But we are smarter than this brother and sisters. We can identify him no matter how, no matter what. We will know he is a lizard and obviously he don't look like Zachernaik or, you know, whatever. So he tried to make himself like he is, you know, like, you know, not one of them, but it doesn't work. We are going to find him and we will get him busted. So this lizard, his grand grandfather, when he saw the fire and he saw Abraham in the fire, he called his friends. Now, Prophet Muhammad, he mentioned one lizard. Because I think at that time, all lizards, they were like, you know, you, you like, uh, they become one lizard. Like, you know, they gathered together themselves and they said, let us become united. And this is why, this is the first organization called United Lizard Club, you know. So they become one lizard. And this is where the word, uh, le, 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 you know, le, le, Lizardo da Vinci came from. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. you know the thing, like, you know, I, don't, I do not need to explain to you or anything, you know. Uh, 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 too, uh, too faithful, you know, uh, focus with us, focus with us. You are too faithful, busy with the Old Testament, and your stupid prophet, he put his hand on it, and he said, I believe in you, and the one who sent, say, send thee. And you are making fun of the Old Testament, you donkey. <laughs> Is it your prophet, he said? He put his hand on it, and he said, I believe in thee, and the one who sent thee. And you are either making fun of thee, are you making fun of your prophet? Obviously you do. <laughs> I mean, your prophet, he is the person who non-stop non poopoo machine. So you Abdul busy in the chat trying to make fun of the Bible and your big Abdul Muhammad without mustache, you know? He says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee, you idiot. So he must be stupid then. Like, hello? I feel sorry for you. Listen, a person is asking for my email. My friend, I don't give email. I don't uh, share email. Uh, there's three things I don't share. Email and wife. I don't have wife. And uh, uh, what else? And baklava. My friend, why you want to share my email? Why you want? I mean, if you have something, say it to me here. There's not no secret. So, Brothers and sisters, Muhammad is a poopoo machine. When he talk, his wisdom is poopoo. Look, look how much he, you know, you see, we, we came in a time where poopoo be called manure. And manure, you pay for it. It's not for free. And this is exactly what Prophet Muhammad is doing now. He is delivering his manure. So the lizard who shared the conspiracy against Prophet Abraham, trying to kill him by fire. And actually, if you think about it, just think about it. I know many of you cannot think because most of you are not Muslims and you aren't smart. Therefore, you are not, you know, not smart. Uh, but if you look at the lizard, you will notice that he is kind of a dragon machine. Like, look at this one. I will show you. Hold on. Okay, just to show you why the lizard is very dangerous. Okay. Okay, look at this lizard here. <clears throat> this lizard, he was arrested. He was arrested in America for trying to join, to join, you know, like, you know, a mafia. And he was, you know, like uh, when the police, the police, they come to arrest the drug dealers, you know, he work with them. So when the police, they come to arrest the drug dealer, the lizard, he start like shooting fire, like, you know, and he burned the police car. And this is a true story. 
I mean, you can go and check, you know, just call now bullies. Call the bullies, call the bullies if you don't believe me. Call the bullies. And then, you know, uh, you know, and they will tell you that, you know, when we went there, and actually the address is there, you can see it, you see the house. It asked, you know, they, they call the police where this like red house there, there's a red roof, you can see it. The address is there, you can see it, that's obviously it's proof, you know. And uh, if you don't believe me, we can take the fingerprints of this guy, you know, to check it out, you know, like you see, we have fingerprint here. So we have many, many proofs, brother, about this story. So this lizard, brother, he, he, he you know, he did try because he's evil, okay? And, you know, like when he blow from his mouth, the fire come out. You know, because he don't drink water, he drink gasoline. That's why you find them a lot around Gaza stations or, you know, something like this. Like you see Gaza station, you're like right away, you see a lizard. But you know why? Because they wait for the gas to drop. So, you know, they drink it and then they go around and they burn houses and they burn stuff. You know, they are burning machines. So, uh, actually, I learned now that the American army and the Marines, they are opening uh, like, uh, you know, uh, jobs for lizard to join them and they are going to send them to fight Putin, you know, with the like, you know, like lizard. So like lizard, lizard war, you know? Yeah, this is why it's, this uh, this uh, lizard war is going now is going to be lizarding, you know? So like, you know, yeah, it's, you know, lizard stuff, you know? Uh, I, I, you know the thing, so I think it's very clear now, All right? So I don't think anyone is confused no more. And, it's very good. So, so anyway, the prophet too. He make a, he made a prize about killing lizard. So, if you kill the lizard from the first shot, it's not the same if you kill him from the second shot. Uh, let us see here. Oh boy. Where is the hadith? Okay, let us see. Uh, actually, here this this is the hadith, brother and sisters about the lizard is involved in the death, or sorry, in trying to kill Prophet Abraham. Read carefully. That, you know, once upon the time, Prophet, he said to Aisha, and Aisha, she said to us, Oh, mother believer, do you, what do you do with this? And here you see where Muhammad, he gets his stories from. You know, Muhammad, he is just an idiot. He copies stories, whoever mentioned a story, he tell him the story, Muhammad, he carry it, and he just, he make it that his God told him. So a woman, she asked Aisha, uh, what do you do with this steak? She said, we kill those lizards with it. For the prophet of Allah told us that when Ibrahim was been thrown into the fire, there, is no, there was no beast on earth that did not try to put it out apart from the house lizard. He blew on it. So the messenger of Allah commanded us it should be killed. Brothers and sisters, history is missing. How we will understand what happened to Prophet Abraham if Muhammad, the Prophet of Allah, is not there? How will reach such a knowledge if all documents disappear? Prophet of Allah, he brought history back. Let us show you the blessing if when you kill a lizard. I'm trying to find you the hadith about it. But I think the lizard is not letting me find it. Yeah, this is different hadith about the same thing, but we want to find. Um, 
Here we go. We found it, brothers and sisters. The Messenger of Allah said, He who kill a chameleon, chameleon, is that I'm saying the word correctly? Excuse me, because I study my English in the school of lizard, so it's not good. You know, lizard will never teach you something right. This is why my English is not right. So, he who kill a chameleon at the first blow, such and such a number of good deed will be awarded to him. Now focus with me. The Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, pray on him, pray on him, please, all of you. Allah pray on him, angel pray on him, believer pray on him, everybody, genie pray on him, everybody pray on him. Except the wazab, by the way. He made it so clear that there is a certain opportunity or investment if you kill him from the first time. Your deed is way more. If you kill him from the second time, chameleon, so it says chameleon, not chameleon. Okay, hold on, you see, I told you, I told you. Actually, this is, this is the proof of what I'm saying, that English is made by a lizard, because why it says CH, and then we have to say chameleon. Obviously, this lizard trying to de deceive us, trying to make us believe that he is a camel, from Lyon, like he's a French camel. But all of us, we knew that there's no camel in Lyon, France. I mean, just think about it, you know? Camel Lyon? Why there's a camel in Lyon in France? No. So this is confirmed what I said to you, that lizard, he tried to hide his identity, so we will not know that he is a lizard. So now he changed his name. He changed his first name, his last name. Like, look, now his name is Camelion. Like, so his name is Cam, like he's a camel from Lyon. And, you know, supposedly now we will not notice that he is a lizard. <laughs> it doesn't work with us, you know? It can work with somebody who's not educated, but not with us. All right? So, uh, listen, uh, listen carefully. Listen, listen carefully. Please uh, focus. Please try to fo fo focus. Another narration says, the Messenger of Allah said, if any of anyone kills, a, I'm not going to say the name Camelion, I don't like it, so seriously, I mean, because he's not a camel and he's not from Lyon, and he's not a lion too. Give me a break. So Chameleon, not Camelion, with the first blow, a hundred good deed will be recorded for him. So look, if you kill him from the first blow, Allah is watching. Allah is watching immediately. And right away he will send a check with 100 good deeds. Not bad, because Allah sometimes he will send the bad deeds, you know? Like, look, look there's, there's a good deed, there's bad deed. So Allah, he will send, if you kill him from the first time, 100 good deeds in your record, in your bank account. And then, less than that, it will be if he killed it from the second blow, my brother. Why are you sick? Why are you killed the lizard from the second blow? What's wrong with you? Allah is unhappy now. See, your deed is less. Your deed is less. I mean, put yourself in the shoe of Allah. He have two hands in the right side. Every hand have five fingers. And obviously, because of that defect in his body, he cannot kill the lizard from the first shot. So he needs you, brother. You need to do a jihad for the sake of Allah. So if you kill him from the first hit, Allah will give you 100 deeds. If you kill him from the second hit, obviously maybe 50 or 60. If you kill him from the third one, that is a shitty hit. Sorry, I have to use the word shitty. I mean, shame on you. What kind of a mujahid you are. I mean, this is what we trained you when you joined ISIS al-Qaeda. Huh? You need to shoot, you need to waste three bullets 
to get to one kafir. And here we notice that Allah is teaching us to be like, you know, very uh, serious. Like, focus with your laser eyes, you know, and look at the lizard, or, you know, shoot him, like in the head. And by the way, I have a warning for you. If you shoot the lizard in his tail, you did not do anything. He will leave his tail and he will grow it back again. <laughs> you know, they are very evil, I'm telling you. Even if you hold him from you by, by his tail, he will leave you his tail in his in your hand. <laughs> Very rather unbelievable. And this is a clear proof that he is is you know very like you know some something special. You know the like case is not from this galaxy. You know like mostly, as they say for us, he is a camel leon from Leon. You know, so like camel camel leon. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you know. Said the camel leon. What the heck is that? You know. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with those names. All of, uh, why we don't call all of them our lizard? I mean, what this chameleon and lizard and potato and tomato? I mean, you know, the, the best thing about being an Arab, it's very easy. You go to the store, you tell the grocery guy, I want to buy a shampoo. You say, what? What do you mean? I want to buy shampoo. You know, in Arabic, we don't have P. So we don't say like Pakistan, we say Pakistan. So shampoo. And then he asks you, okay, we have many kinds of shampoo for kids, for like what kind of, you say, I don't care, I want shampoo. All right? Here you notice that we are like different, you know, like we are straight to the point. So lizard is a lizard. Don't twist his time, and that's it. I mean, we want to kill a lizard. His name is Chameleon, Chameleon, Camel, whatever, who care, you know? I don't care for the name. Focus in the head of the snake. All right. In this case, it was shampoo. So if you kill him from the first blow, you know, that's mean you are a truthful and you are a true believer. If you don't kill him from the first blow, that means one of two things. Either your mother-in-law, she gave you a blow before you go out from the house and you lost one of your sight or two of them. Or your wife, she broke your glasses and you cannot see. I mean, choose one, what's wrong? So the prophet is very serious. Mm. Look, look, it is simple perspective from the prophet. Now we know the rabbit spread disease as known as Somalia. Ah. <laughs> hey, Sophia, Sofian, nobody spread diseases as your prophet, my friend. And I will prove it to you. Should we kill him too? Here we go. Let us go and prove it to you. I don't say things without proof. You're a prophet. All his wives, they have, all the women he slept with, they have yellow water in their private part. And that is obviously a sexual infection. Read with me, my friend. According to your prophet, <clears throat> let me show you the hadith so we can love together. Your prophet, he described all the women he slept with that their water in their private part is yellow. Not a single one of them, she don't have a yellow water. Go and call your chameleon, chameleon doctor, and ask him, what does that mean? He will tell you, obviously, there is a sexual disease. So based on this, your prophet was a sexual disease spreader, because not a single one of them she don't have a yellow water or discharge in her vagina. And according to your prophet, you think this is normal. You think this is the way to be. Because obviously, he never met one. She don't have yellow discharge. 
And not to forget to mention that your prophet himself, he died, according to Muslim, by poison. But Aisha, she mentioned too that he was always sick. Even, she said, the following. Let us see if we can find the hadith here. As you know, not all the hadith we can find them, uh, uh, you know, in English translation. Hmm. Read carefully. You're a prophet. He always suffer from illness, non-stop. However, illness was very bad on him. Read carefully here. Aisha reported that when any of member of the household fell ill. Allah Messenger used to blow over him by reciting uh, with the thing, so you know, like supposedly verses from the Quran, which is very stupid. And to prove that this is, doesn't work, he will go, he died himself. So when he himself gets sick, he suffered from illness, in which of which he died. I used to blow over him and rub his body with his hand. So Muhammad always he fooled people trying to claim that he can heal you. But here we go. He is always sick, suffering, and he could not heal himself. I always bring weird stuff. The Surah Prophet saying, my friend, look at this. We have here a Muslim. He is agreeing that what his prophet says is weird. Sufyan, I am suspecting you. I don't know. I feel like you are not Sufyan. I think you are a lizard and sent by a lizard to speak and make fun of the prophet. Because now you are saying that I am bringing weird stuff, which means you are implying without saying it directly that your prophet is weird. Because all what I'm showing here is what your prophet said, and in the top of that, what you do say, why you are bringing this weird stuff. So the Muslims, they love a prophet of Allah, but they agree he is weird. In other way, they agree he is mentally ill. In other how, they agree that he is stupid. And somehow, they are saying, don't listen to him. In different way of explanation, they are saying, my prophet, leave him alone. He had mental illness. Even his sex was fake. Now listen to me carefully. We want to go back to our topic. I challenge any Muhammad and to tell us, why Allah will give you a hundred deed if you kill the lizard from the first hit? Why Allah will give you less if you kill him from the second hit? Any Muhammadan can explain to us the science? This is weird. And this is why we agree with Sufyan. He's a weird man. Wait, what a stupid religion. Like, does it make a difference if we kill him from the first hit or second hit? Do you want us to kill the lizard or do you, or you want us? What is the purpose exactly from this killing? Are we after the lizard now or after, or uh, and look here, you will see that Muhammad always, he make you do his will by tempting you, by deeds, like, you know, you want to get deeds? Go after the lizard, okay? Don't ask me a question about Islam because the second you ask me a question, you will discover that Muhammad himself is the lizard. So now I want you to be busy with something more important. We are going to chase lizard, all right? But then sisters, Prophet Muhammad, why Jesus have a lot of miracle and you have nothing? You are busy talking about lizard. Listen carefully. Don't listen to him. He was sent by a lizard to say that. He don't want us to go and kill the lizard. Kill this guy who asked this question. So while Jesus was raising people from death, making the blind see, uh, walking in water, controlling nature, 
Muhammad was giving a lecture about who can kill the lizard. Here we know that now we understand a little bit the purpose of Islam or what Islam for. We have to do jihad against not only the Jews, the Christians, the Buddhists, which mean maybe like 80% of the earth, kill them all, as the Quran says. We have, jihad will continue. We have to kill the lizard, the mice, the black dog. The, you know, I mean, that, that, it's in this list. And then after that, we have to kill each other, Muslims, because the Prophet, he says, that you know, Islam will shrink and became small, and those the rest are the enemy of Allah. And not only that, then we have to fight and kill Gog and Magog. And where is Gog and Magog? Nobody can find them. Brother, Islam is peace, and the journey starts with the fighting lizard. I don't know. Me myself. What I can do without the knowledge of a Prophet Muhammad. Sometimes I feel jealous. I say to myself, why Allah did not choose me to be a Prophet? For sure, not like Muhammad. I mean, nobody can be like him. I mean, come on. I don't want to be like him anyway, because that would make me bewitched. Somebody will take care from my... <clears throat> And then he plays uh, black, black magic on me. And then I go and I imagine myself having sex and it turned to be, I wasn't with the wife, it was with the pillow, sometime with the goat. I don't want those things to happen to me. I want to be like, you know, like somehow a, a prophet, but like without, without all this madness and stuff, you know? And then uh, prophet, he discovered many things, not only lizard in his stories. He discovered that shaitan, he's sleeping in your nose. Uh, you know, uh, he pissed in your ears. Um, as you know, like, I mean, if we go back here in the video here in the intro, this guy, he was talking about it, you know, which is proven to be, I mean, certain, 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 certain correct, you know. I know that some uh, Jews and Christians and Hindus, you know, they say to you, this is not true, but it's proven scientifically. Narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified. <laughs> I mean, what do you want more? Satan, he urinates in your ears. Who can deny that? You know, we have, we have to be serious and we have to understand that Islam is a solution for ignorance, medicine, even how to fight any disease because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who... You know, I will tell you, this is a true story, by the way. Once when I was a kid, this is a long time ago, like maybe 19 years, 19, I was a kid, because I'm now 21. Yeah, so I was like 19, year, 19 years ago. So, uh, you know, I was asleep, and then the, the, the wife of my uncle, and that will make her, will make her my auntie, you know? Yeah, she is like, you know, because she, they call her auntie in English because she was like, she don't like me to eat baklava. So I call, like, they call her auntie, you know, because she's anti baklava, anti sweet, anti sugar, anti candies. Anyway, so I call her auntie too, you know. So anyway, she went in the bedroom and I was asleep. And then she found two foot coming uh, from my nose. They did not wake up me, uh, I know, right away. At that time, there was no camera 19 years ago. And, uh, you know, when I woke up, they told me, that there was Satan and his uh, uh, shoes is coming out from my nost uh, nostrils, you know? And uh, even, uh, you know, they told me even the, the brand of the shoes, it was uh, Nike, you know? Because he's told them from, you know, in the, the New York, because there's no police in New York, as you know, Democrat, you know, all over the thing. So like, if you steal, if you steal something less than $900, nobody will arrest you, Alhamdulillah. So, uh, you know, they told me, and, uh, you know, I, I, I said to myself, I don't know, I don't know, you know, so you know the thing, I think I make it clear. <laughs> so listen to this carefully, brothers and sisters. This guy is speaking seriously. Why you are not listening? The lizard, he tried to kill Prophet Abraham, and you people are laughing. Do you think Allah will let it go? 
He will punish you with the lizard. Imagine if Allah decide to jail you in one room with the same lizard who tried to kill Prophet Abraham. Do you want that to happen to you? Hmm. My friend, Michael, you can create those references without talking to me. Here we go, I'm showing a reference. Just save them, Make if you wanna make an app online, anything, good for you. Good for everybody, yeah, help, good for you. Thank you, my friend. Listen carefully. I'm here to warn you. That's, uh, the lizard day is coming, not judgment day, sorry. The lizard day is coming. And time will come, and this lizard, you know, the lizard, I mean, even this uh, English, I, you know, English, I, from all the world in the world, they could not find the word, word lizard, like chameleon, chameleon, camel from Lyon, lizard. What is that, man? I need to find a different word. But listen, let me think about it. I, I need to create a new, okay, you know what? I will change the name of the lizard from now on, you know? So we will call him, you know, that thing. I'm typing in Arabic now. Unbelievable. It must be the lizard. He stepped over my keyboard and he switched from English to Arabic. You know, you know, you know the thing. So we will call him from now, you know, that thing. So from now on, if I say to you the thing, you know, I'm talking about the lizard. Right? Like, you know the thing. Okay. So. I don't know. I feel like, you know, they said that Muhammad is the last prophet. But when you listen to Joe Biden, you feel like, no, history repeating itself. <laughs> but we cannot accept that Joe Biden is a prophet because prophet of Allah, he said he's the last prophet. That's it. But there is a lot of similarity. Both are bewitched. Both they want to go green, but they burn everything. <laughs> oh boy. And then, you know, come on, I don't want to forget that the Islam is, you know, there is a room. Now listen to this now. I want to go more serious now. I'm going to shock you with the truth. I don't know how many of you will hate me now, but it's okay. You hated Mr. Lizard before me. So listen carefully. Allah, brother, he decided to send a black stone. The black stone descended from heaven. It's time now to use my art. By the way, I don't know what I mentioned to you that, uh, you know, like a very famous uh, artist, uh, his name is Osama Bin Laden. He contacted me and he wanted to buy my painting. Uh, but I told him now, uh, sorry, it's not for sale now because we have to take it around the world so youth can learn how to uh, paint. So there was upon the time, there was Allah. And Allah is in heaven. Allah, he decided to send a stone to where? To the earth. At that time, brother, the earth was green. Not like now, pollution and pollution, you know? So Allah, he decided to send a stone. And this stone was white like milk. But because the background is white, I don't know how I can draw the white stone for you. So I'm going to change the background. I will make it black now so I can draw the stone space. This is just for the barbas of the barbasim. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, the, you know, the background. So Allah, he decided to send a stone. Okay, this is the earth. This is the earth now. Instead of making green, we are making the earth black now. Okay. 
I know it look weird, like Earth is black, you know, come on. But, uh, you know, all of us, we can see the Earth is black if you turn the light off. But think about it, you know, for a second. But most of you are not smart and, you know, they are, uh, sorry, not educated like me, so. So anyway, so the Earth, you know, here we make the background black because they are going to draw the black stone. So imagine yourself now at night time. So Allah, he sent the black stone and it was white like milk. This is the black stone. And the black stone is in the shape of a vagina, excuse my language. I mean, this vagina is really weird. What's wrong with this vagina? Uh, okay, whatever it is, you know, later we can like adjust it, like we can put a stone from here with a stone from there. And then Allah, he told the angels to build a room and put this vagina in the room, in the wall of the room. Okay, and this vagina was white, as we told you. But then the sin of the children of Adam made the black stone black. It was white like milk. This is what the Prophet said. And uh, why Allah He sent this black stone from heaven? Because Allah knows best. You know, once I ask a sheikh in the Muslim website, and I told them I have a question: uh, Why the Prophet He kissed the black stone? The sheikh from the website, he says to me, he was excited. I thought I'm going to convert to Islam because I look like I come, you know, I, I look like a Muslim anyway, you know. So uh, he said to me, uh, uh, when I said to him, why the prophet he kissed the stone? He said, because it's holy. Then I asked him, and why it is uh, holy? He, uh, he said, because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> Should I write holy or holy? I don't know. Choose one. <laughs> why it's holy? Because the prophet kissed it. And why the prophet kissed it? Because it's holy. I'm sure many of you now thinking about converting to Islam. Because it makes sense. It's connected, you know? So why he kissed the black stone? Because it's holy. Why it's holy? Because he kissed it. And what's wrong with people? So, you know, sometimes you ask yourself, if uh, people, they, you know, uh, you know, they understand the, the thing, you know? It's so clear. And, uh, you know, so what's wrong? Anyway, I'm not going to make you stay here for longer uh, because I think now you have enough information. I hate, I, I hate to speak in English. You know, you see, I am the same as Al Hassan. I speak 70 million languages. When you listen to those shakes, you say to yourself, you shake your head, how many languages he speak? Only? 70 million languages? Are you sure? <laughs> oh my Lord, help me. And then, you know, they come to us and they say Islam is a religion. And they are not pagan, yet they kiss stones. They go around the stone, they bow to a stone, and they go around the stone and they pray in the direction of a stone. And then, not only that, even the head of this human who believe in this religion become like a stone. Because the second you say to him, this is funny, he kill you. It's a stone age. So going back to our topic, which you uh, people here are not listening, obviously, because you are so, you know, you know, so ignorant. I feel sorry for you. Okay. And uh, for me, I like to convert to Islam and get all the boys. You know, the first time I heard with those boys, I said to myself, hmm, there's a million videos in YouTube speaking about equality and justice of the Prophet of Allah. Now we know how he practices equality by raping, kidnapping, <laughs> torturing. But the Quran went so far to the point, if you believe that the lizard is the enemy of Allah and the mice is his enemy too, and you kill the lizard, 
and you do jihad and you fight the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhists, the atheists, everybody. Brother, Allah will give you very sexy boys. Don't you want to have sexy boys? Those boys, brother, 80,000 boys. 80,000 boys. You ask a Muslim, what those boys for? They say those are servant. 80,000 boys servant? They will serve me what exactly? They will serve you sandwiches. Well, I thought your prophet, he said, in the heaven of Allah, if you wish something, by the second you wish it is going to be in front of you, there's no servant to give it to you. Well, Prophet of Allah, he said in the Quran that they will go around you and they will serve you. Uh, but why I will have uh, 80,000 little boy? Don't you think this is a huge number? How many sandwiches I will eat a day? Read with me carefully, brothers and sisters, so you can learn the beauty of Allah. Allah don't do child abuse, never, never, never. No, he's against slavery. Please don't say slavery. As you see, slavery is no. The list of the people of paradise in possession is the one with 80,000 servants. Those servants are boys, okay? And 72 wives. So, you know, people, they have wrong idea when they say, you will have 72 wives. This is for the lowest. This is for the bad, 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 bad. This is not for the good Muslim. The heaven of Allah have 100 floor. So here you notice that Muhammad, he think about you. He know what do you want, what do you need? What do you need in heaven? 80,000 boys. And they are very pretty, as the Quran described them. And they are very white. Don't you like to have white boys? White boys. No? Very white. To the point they are like, they look like pearls. Like the pearls which is hidden, brother. Even they are like eggs. The women, they will be very, very white too. And those women, they will be jailed in their tents. So we have extremely white women, extremely white men, because Allah will make all Muslim men white, very white. And the boys who will serve you in heaven or you will sleep with them, they are very white too. Brother, Islam is amazing religion. I have a bad news for you now if you don't believe in Allah. If you don't believe in Allah, Allah will punish you. He will send you to hell. Okay? But before he sends you to hell, he will do something for you. Because we just showed you that all the believers are white. Me, finally, I will become black. I mean, what's wrong with being black? It's so wonderful. So look what Muhammad is saying. All those who don't believe in Allah, Allah, He will make them black. So at the end of the time, those who kill lizard, those who do jihad, fight Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, Allah will make them all white. And those like me and you, Allah will make us black. I'm so grateful. Finally, I will have a girlfriend. <laughs> what a stupid God. That's why he said that the black stone came like, a, like white, like milk. And the sin of mankind made it black. Muhammad, he teaches 
fifth thing in its fifth iteration teach that black is a penalty. Actually, there is a hadith, and I, we share it many times, how Muhammad explained how the white people are created and how the black people are created. He claimed that the white man is created from the left shoulder, sorry, from the right shoulder of Adam. And Allah, he said to those white, who created like white ants, he said to them, you go to heaven and I don't care. And he created, according to Muhammad, the black like ant, like shirkul. And he said to them, you go to hell. And I don't care. Can you believe it? That this is the one they keep praising, speaking how wonderful it, he is, and the stupid Joe Biden, he called his name for us? Can you believe it that we are in a time of hypocrisy? That Democrat, who they claim they are anti-slavery and they support black people, they are quoting the most filthy, racist creature, his name is Muhammad, in their election? Can you believe it? This is the Muslim Muhammadan website, and this is the number of the hadith. Let us take the snow off. We forgot the snow. Give me a second. Look at this filthy religion. Jamia Ut Tirmudhi, Hadith number 38. And this is a very well-known Islamic website. And sometimes I ask myself, how the Muhammadan, they lie to the black people and they say to them, Islam for everybody. When obviously the most racist, evil cult ever is Islam. Before a person even he go to heaven, Allah will give you two drinks. One will change your height, your age, and one will make you extremely white. Unbelievable garbage. If you go and read the chapter 82, verse number, I think, 32, let us try it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting numbers. Okay. Let us see if I am still. No, actually, I, I got it wrong. Not, uh, uh, sorry, chapter 27. 27. The end, the end chapter. Let us go to 27. 27 is to the other one, doesn't even have that number. Let us see. And then we go to 82. Here you will see that there is a beast, according to Muhammad, will come in Mecca. And this beast, 
will go down from the ground, go up, and it will teach you Quran and will recite Quran. But this beast is going to come with the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon, which is a magical ring. And then this beast is going to hit you in your nose if you are a disbeliever, and he will make you pure black. And he will hit you at your face or forehead if you are a believer and will make you pure white. <clears throat> it says here, it will strike the nose of this believer with the staff and it will make the face of the believer bright, uh, uh, bright with the ring. And when people, they gather to eat, they will be able to recognize each other. What does that mean? This beast, he have two tools. One make you white, one make you black. Will hit everybody based on his belief. The one who is a believer, Allah will make him totally white. And actually, this is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, and this is the Muslim translation, which is not really accurate. In Arabic, it's more ugly. So here you will see that when, when the beast will hit you with the ring of Solomon and the staff of Moses, there will be no believer left without making white spot in his face, which will spread until all his face is shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot on his face, which will spread until his face is black as a result. You know, we saw many times Muslims, they try to say, oh no, this is metaphorical, but as you see, this is absolutely false. And secondly, even if it's a metaphorical, this is very, very ugly. But as you see, this is a real beast. The ring is real, supposedly. The staff is real, and the head is real, and it's a spot is going to extend or expand, and then either you will end as a black or white, the bent in your belief. So today, when we name this title, What Islam For? We will come to a conclusion that Islam is exists as a tool of Satan to distract, to destroy this earth. Islam is nothing but war, hatred, enmity, fight and blood, superstition, and all for the sake of a sick man. His name is Muhammad. Many of you, you say, I have a Muslim friend. But many of you do not know that a Muslim, he cannot take you as a friend. When I say that, they, you know, once I remember, there was a, a minister, which is very weird, and he is stupid, you know, he claimed to be a minister in a church. He said to me, you are dividing the people by what you say. So I said, so you are saying, when I quote Muhammad, I'm dividing the people? So you lie to them, you say Muhammad was a good man, supposedly, and that will not divide? Chapter 5, verse number 51 says, take not Christians and Jews as friends or protectors. And the one who take the Christians and the Jews as a friend and he mean it, he is not a Muslim no more. He is one of us. He is not one of them. If he mean it. In chapter 5, the same chapter, verse number 14, it says Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. And he mentioned the same later about the Jews. So what is Islam for? Islam is to bring us to the cave time, to hate each other, to kill each other, to take slaves for rape, 
to discriminate between black and white, believer and disbeliever. Even the Quran makes it clear that all non-Muslims are filthy and there's no go zone. You know, the Muslims, they speak too much about how the white man in South Africa was sub, you know, like subjugating the black people into certain rules of discrimination. But cowardly, they will not mention to you that the exact rules established by the God who they call him Allah. There's no go zone. You go right now, search in YouTube or in Google, the signs in the highway in Saudi Arabia, where it says believers only, non-believers only, Muslims only. And actually, we'll show it to you right now. The most racist, filthy cult ever. Imagine if we have a sign in the highway that says Christians only. None Christians are dirty. And the reason they cannot go because they are filthy, the Quran says so. وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ najis. Najis is not only filthy, you are filthy to the point nothing can clean you. This is why there's no gozun. This is why the city of Mecca and all the territory and Medina, both of them, there's no gozun. For Islam, discriminate and teach hate. And consider anyone as a Muslim is unclean, filthy. So what is Islam for? What it is for? Think about it. I hope people, they are taking notes, learning something. I hope we aren't spending our time, killing time. Those who kill time, they are killing themselves. We are here to share, to teach, to spread the truth. And the truth will set you free. Islam is a stupid, dummy, evil, hatred, madness, violent, anti-peace, and not only that, they lie to you and they say that Islam means submission. I heard many, even Christians, you ask them what Islam means, they say to you, oh, it means submission. When absolutely this is false. I mean, we told them a thousand times, don't say submission, don't say submission. And then they come and they say submission. But it's okay. They don't speak Arabic. And we are here to teach. The reason they say many Christians are fooled and they think Islam means submission. Submission is something you choose willingly. Islam, there's nothing called willingly. Muslims believe in destiny, predestiny. So there's no submission. How you can submit anyway? Islam means surrender, not submission. You change the translator, you will find that you have a new book. Is it really submission? Chapter 49, verse number 14, it shows you how Muhammad, he forced people into Islam to surrender. So they say we believe. Muhammad he said to them, Allah told me to say this to you. You believe not. But only you say, you should say, we surrender, which means we became Muslims. For faith has not yet entered your heart. So how they become, how they surrender then to Muhammad? Because he said to them, believe or I will kill you. So my friend, Islam want the whole earth to surrender 
So you will be a slave of the filthy Allah, Haka Muhammad. And we are here to say, we are the last one to be surrendering. To anyone is a stupid. Stupidity is our enemy, and we will not the stupid Muhammad make people surrender. We are smarter than this idiot. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And today, we shared with you some of the fruits of Islam. Thank you for being here. I apologize if some people repeating themselves in the chat I did not look, because we cannot keep going and just showing and reference. It's endless, as you know. But we are showing you what's enough to make anyone have little intellect. You don't need to be genius to discover and to make a decision that Islam obviously stupid, ignorant, dummy, superstition, false, mentally ill cult, and a smart person, he will not fail into this, such a crap. So the question is, are we smart? Or we are a bunch of dummies who they are going to fight and wage war against Mr. Lizard. Leave your comment and tell me what do you think about what we should do? Should we fight Lizard? Should we start a new army? Should we convince Joe Biden and Putin to join group together and fight Lizard instead of fighting each other like stupid idiot donkeys? Can we? Can we unite the whole mankind and make an army to fight Lizard and mice? And fight black dogs? Because they are Satan? Can we? Can we shoot the lizard from the first shot so we can get the 100 deeds? Can we? Can we say certain words before we enter the bathroom so Shaitan will not play with the anus? Can we? Can we say certain prayer before we have intercourse with our wives so Shaitan will, round, will not round himself around your penis? and do your wife, and then the baby is his baby, can we? Islam, my friend, is a solution, but for the one who have a mental illness, because he will feel happy for being stupid, and will make him think that he is smart. Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him, 